Hi everyone, my name is Tessa. I'm a mentor here with SK and today I'm just gonna be telling you a little bit about SK's research program. This is meant to be a really short video just to give you a sense of the structure and what it'll look like on a week to week basis. If you want a longer rundown about the program, there's another video on this playlist by Harpal and Anu really delving into why research is so important. But the long and short of it is that the SK research program is a program that we're starting up as a pilot this fall that will be helping give students some critical exposure to research opportunities and research skills with SK mentors across a number of dis different disciplines. Um, there's a real appetite for this, not only among high school students who are just really excited to get into the field, but also among colleges who are really excited to see students who are actually doing work as opposed to just learning about con content in the abstract. So for an idea of what we'll actually be offering, um, I would encourage you to look through the videos on this playlist for you know descriptions and, and further detail about what each of these programs will look like. The only caveat on here is that Srikar is actually not offering CS this, this cycle, but will be in future kind of research curricula. Um, but all of these programs are gonna be really exciting. I would encourage you to, to watch the videos for any that you're particularly interested in. But as far as what all of these programs will have in common, it's that we are working really hard to make these projects interesting, but also accessible to students that we know are really busy. We know students have busy extracurricular lives, busy course, course loads. So the idea is that students are able to pick up these really valuable research skills in less than an hour per week. Pretty much any student can find that time, especially if it's an arena that they're really excited about. So the essential idea is that each of these mentors will record a 15 minute lecture um, for that week on a specific topic area or skill area. Your student can watch that. A student can watch that at any time during the week that works for them. They'll also complete a 15 minute assignment that's unique to that week and is related to the lecture. And then they'll have a 25 minute one-on-one -on -one meeting with the mentor who's running their particular programs. That might be Sammy for pre-law or me for geographic information systems. And that's just make sure that you watch the lecture, you understood it, you get any of your questions answered, you understand how the assignment worked. You can you can kind of pull out those insights, things that might be interesting to you beyond that. So it you know we we've, we've baked in significant flexibility, but also that one on one support that you're not going to get with some kind of you know YouTube class or whatever whatever else. You get this this really critical kind of research mentorship from someone who's been in the field and knows what they're doing. Um, as far as outcomes, the intent is that by the end of this research period in December, students will be able to produce a, a five minute presentation, you know, give a talk on an original kind of very, very bite sized research topic that they've taken on, write a one page research paper, which is harder than it sounds. Producing original research is a really high bar. So even one page is a really good foundation to set. And ultimately, the, the goal is that beyond these maybe more concrete deliverables, that by the end of this, students will have those set of that set of research instincts that is really hard to build and often high school students just don't get any exposure to. Um, and that they'll have both those research instincts and maybe a kind of sectorally specific skill that they can use to build into future internships, future independent projects, um, and ultimately their future academic endeavors in college. So. I'm really excited about this program. I would encourage you to watch more videos about the offerings that we have. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any member of the research team. We're all really excited about the offerings that we have on, on deck. And hopefully we'll see you all there. So, bye.